get it, I can make it, yeah, I know it And I'm never looking back again Good morning, Falcons. I'm Gilbert Reyes. And I'm Abby Buell, and this is The Falcon Report. There's a Buff Puff meeting today after school in Mr. Mayor's room. This week is Mental Health Week. Remember to be mindful and sensitive of others this week. There are activities to be had and prizes to be won during lunch. And now to Zoe with Gaming Update on Mother 4. The fan base of the Mother series has patiently been awaiting a fan game known as Mother 4. A successor to the original Mother series, Mother 4 is set in the 70s and follows Travis, Meryl, Floyd, and Leo on an adventure to save the world and everything else you do in adventure RPGs. While I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's no longer going to happen. Instead, the game previously known as Mother 4 will be released as an original game acting as more of a spiritual successor. Of course, this means that the team had to remove a lot of content and replace it, so, curious, I asked one of the developers and director of the game, Pastelian, some questions pertaining to the game development and any changes that were made. Any hint of what the game will now be called? Right now we're not ready to release a name because we only get to relaunch once. And what can we expect to be changed from the Mother 4 version? First and foremost, there are no references to any Nintendo property in the game. Everything from battle effects to item names to entire areas that will need to be remade to remove references to the Mother series. There's a lot to consider, and all of it going towards giving the game its own identity. What has been the most difficult thing about development? It's hard to say. The hardest task shifts now and then, but version control comes to mind. And what year do you think the game will be released in? We have no comment on that. The game has already went through many changes, such as musical and graphical changes, as well as differences in the UI, but will undergo many more before eventually being released under a new name. The logo, however, is not changing. Not much, anyway. Whatever it ends up being, it's quite clear so far that the devs are doing a great job, and the game should be a promising adventure. If you're a senior and you're interested in applying for an activity or athletic cord, a applications are now available in Mr. Mayor's classroom. Stop by and pick one up if you have been involved in a number of activities and or sports here at Hanford during your time in high school. The deadline for applications is next Tuesday. See Mr. Mayor now. That's all for today. I'm Gilbert Reyes. And I'm Abby Buell. And this has been The Falcon Report. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.